Hey guys, you're watching Radical Gaming HD, and I'm coming at you with another episode of Loopy Loadouts. No, oh fuck, I forgot the name. Uh, my own series. It's called Ludicrous Loadouts. This is episode two. This is the first episode that you guys have given me. Have given me the subs. Uh, it came from um, Mr. Woody from uh, Woody uh, from uh, a good friend uh, from YouTube, and he said to use the SVD, uh, which I'm using. With the uh, I IRNV site, the infrared night vision site, and the silencer. No foregrip, no bipod, nothing else. And so that's what I'm using. Uh, I had some good practice because I didn't really use this gun before, so I had some good practice with it uh, to unlock the attachments. Um, but yeah, that didn't really help because once you get the attachments, this gun is a completely different uh, piece of shit. Uh, it's a semi-auto sniper. Uh, it's an okay gun overall. I believe it's the default semi-auto sniper for the uh, RU team. Uh, so it's the counterpart of the Mark 11 Mod Zero. Uh, it's a two to three shot kill in most cases. Um, Semi-automatic, so you know, not exactly a long range, super long range sniper rifle like the M98B or the L96. It's more of a medium range gun. Uh, ex, uh, ex, well, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, I'm not sure what that was. So two to three shot kills on most ranges. 37.5 to 50 uh, damage. Uh, I'll have some graphs up on screen where you can see all the damage drop off and all that sciencey stuff if you're a real geek like that. Um, it's got the same damage as pretty much all the other semi-auto snipers, and um, except for the uh, except for the SKS, uh, the SKS is weaker, has lower damage, and it it, it sucks from the stats. Uh, anyways, I don't really use uh, sniper rifles that much except for the bolt actions. So yeah. Uh, it does have pretty high recoil, this gun, but it's got a quick reload of a 2.5 seconds for the short one and 3.5 for the long one. Um, so on to the attachment. So that's enough for the gun. Uh, the gun overall, I think it was okay gun. It's, you know, pretty much just like the other uh, uh, semi-automatic semi sniper rifles. Just uh, kind of a pain in the ass to use and a pain in the ass, uh, and a pain in the ass to go up against. Just because they, they've got a good balance of power. You know, they've got a quick time to kill at uh, short ranges so on a map like this which had to be no shark canals TDM it was a bit tedious for the enemy team and for myself as well just because they're not very useful once you get past like you know 20 30 meters anyways the infrared night vision scope this is the probably the most useless uh, optic sight if not attachment uh, you know no if, if not this is probably the most useless optic sight and or attachment in the whole damn game Pretty much, it offers a one-time zoom, which is basically useless. What you get is, instead of having a nice, you know, field of view, you get a little tiny circle that's all green, um, and it blocks up the rest of your screen with a black screen, as you can see right here, so you can barely see anything. Um, it's got a really slow aiming down sights time, so by the time, you know, to the time it takes for you to actually enter that green screen is much slower than, you know, with an ACOG or with a red dot or with a, I don't know if it's how, how it compares to a rifle sight but but really it's really way too long um, it does highlight enemies in green so you know you get that perk but this only goes out to about 15 meters so that's basically useless uh, basically you can already see him no yeah there I could see him well but you know long range targets they're just green um, so spotting is a must if you want to if you want to even recognize enemies at a really long distance basically um, you just see little little outlines of enemies and if you spot them like in this case you get a little orange thing above their heads which does help but as you can see in, from that clip uh, the, towards the end there it was basically useless um, so overall uh, this 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 scope is shit it's absolute shit um, the silencer now the silencers are usually a great attachment on most guns except for surprise surprise the sniper rifles um, yeah, basically it uh, keeps you off the minimap when you fire, but it lowers your range and your bullet velocity. So, you know, it's great for SMGs when you're up close and personal. Not so great for sniper rifles because they're meant for long, medium range engagements, and this really does shorten their uh, effective range. Um, so, yeah, I found that the best tactic for this was flanking. Um, obviously, you know, you can get behind the enemy without them knowing you're there unless they see you, and you can get a few kills I got like one or two kill streaks I uh, usually um, so yeah so it was pretty effective and then I had the uh, tugs as my uh, gadget equipment not sure what it's called um, but yeah it's great for um, knowing where the enemy is around you and um, when you're like trying to stay behind cover and oh excuse me there and out of enemy uh, lines of sight you know stay hidden with the uh, with a silencer 
Uh, this is great for ADSing uh, before an enemy comes around your corner. So basically, you can be you know sort of camping, hiding, tactically tactically placed behind enemy lines. We'll say, and an enemy will be coming around the corner, and you can you know thanks to this slow aim down sight time, which is fantastic. You can ADS before he comes around the corner, get the shot off, which is very vital to get the shot off before he does. Um, and yeah, you can finish off with uh, by getting a good kill. Um, so yeah, so as a result, uh, this gun and attachments uh, all put together. Look at this distraction beacon I put down. I was like, oh man, somebody's back there. And I just shot him. I don't know why he didn't come for me, but instead he went for the, uh, yeah, a bit retarded. Anyways, the end result as this gun, uh, well, it's a gun intended for long, medium range. Uh, it's optimal at, at uh, medium range, but it's uh, most effective at close range with the silencer. But since all kills had to be uh, aimed in, aiming down the sights, the uh, slow aiming down the sights and the tiny, minute field of view that this gun offered um, made it shit at close range engagements. So basically you had a crappy gun with crappy attachments, making it crap at everything. And uh, since this is no Shark and House TDM, most things are hectic, dropping the bag there. Most things are hectic in close quarters, and you really don't get much um, action. Don't get much success with this weapon. Uh, anyways, this is a nice little streak to finish off this vid. This is a nice little kill streak I went on. Um, pretty beast. I was hiding in this warehouse most of the time. Um, and this is really what, uh, what, how I, the main tactic I use. Basically, just go behind enemy lines, sort of tactically position yourself where the enemy is going to be uh, flowing through. You know, watching the sight lines, watching the uh, movement lines of the enemy. Basically, putting down your tugs. And um, you can you can know where the enemies are at all times, and um, you know, get the shots off there. I saw that guy on the mini map, <clears throat> and basically, you know, just uh, do what you can with uh, the tools you got. You know, if you're a real beast like me, you don't need a good gun. You just need anything you can use. And this guy, I save his life because he's about to get knifed, but he gets knifed by another guy. Um, anyways, um, if you guys didn't notice, this episode of Ludicrous Loadouts is in a different format. It's not in the live com format. Instead, I've uh, made it sort of match a uh, match -tage, like a montage of uh, different clips I got from different matches, um, speeding up for the uh, in the interest of time at some points, um, just so I can have a shorter video and I can tell you more about the gun and stuff without being distracted by the live com. Um, I can always go back to live com, so tell me which one, which format of Ludicrous Loadouts you guys like. This one where it's sort of a montage of different clips. Or the previous episode, which was this live com of me using the gun. Um, I can do both if you guys want. But yeah, please, if, uh, if, you, uh, if you can, help me out by letting me know which one you like. And yeah, in the end, this was really a pain in the ass challenge. It could have been harder. I did surprisingly well. Uh, I went positive, actually. I forgot to mention. My best match was a 22-22 and 22 match. 300% um, tickets on No Shark Canals. So not positive, not negative, you know, neutral. But it was better than nothing. I mean... If you guys can beat a 22 and a 22 score, upload it or send it to me or do something or let me know and uh, step up to the challenge because uh, this is ludicrous loadouts and this is where I finally get killed by a sniper M48-5 with the uh, rifle scope. Not sure I got it off there. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.